Welcome to this episode of How Does That Coin-Operated Phonograph Work, where today we'll explore the Multiphone. In 1905, the Multiphone Company was incorporated to manufacture Multiphones, which were operated by two additional companies. The Multiphone Operating Company, with exclusive rights to operate Multiphones north of the Mason-Dixon line and east of the Mississippi, and the Western Multiphone Company, with exclusive rights to operate multiphones everywhere west of the Mississippi. The multiphone we'll explore today was constructed by the American Phonograph Company of New York, another company formed to manufacture multiphones. It's confusing, right? Let's review. The multiphone company and American Phonograph Company manufactured multiphones. The Multiphone Operating Company and Western Multiphone Company generated profits by putting multiphones in operation in railroad depots, hotels, summer resorts, cafes, bars, and even on steamers. This multiphone was manufactured around 1910 with a highly carved but much more rectilinear cabinet than the 1906 multiphone sometimes referred to as the lyre-shaped multiphone. As well, this multiphone plays four-minute cylinders. The 1906 multiphone initially played two-minute cylinders, as four-minute cylinders were not available until 1908. The most obvious difference from the 1906 model is that this multiphone plays 12, not 24, cylinders. All these changes allowed the production of a multi-cylinder, coin-operated machine at significantly less costs. The Multiphone Operating Company and Western Multiphone Company purchased multiphones for $250 each. The carved case looks like mahogany, but it is constructed of poplar, stained to appear as mahogany. Operating instructions are displayed in a metal panel on the front of the machine behind three glass-covered windows. The patron is instructed to first wind up motor, then select any number, finally push five cents in the slot. Tune selection is announced by a prominent paper sign with titles and numbers corresponding to the numbers on the cylinder carousel. The motor of the multiphone is very similar to an Edison Triumph motor. A long metal spring belt connects the main motor pulley to the upper mechanism. Twelve cylinders are placed on a rotating carousel, rotated by a small crank on the front of the cabinet of the multiphone. An ingenious feature on the multiphone is a horsehair record brush that swivels on the central hub of the carousel. The counterweight on the bottom of the brush ensures it is always positioned correctly. The reproducer is unique to the multiphone. It has a spring-loaded weight. The most interesting component of the return mechanism is the feed screw. The feed screw has two sets of threads cut into it, fine threads that play the cylinder and coarse threads that return the carriage. A single blade attached to the carriage engages with and tracks alternatively with one set of threads or the other on the feed screw. A mahogany wood grained pressed fiber horn projects the cylinder's tune up through the round metal grill at the top of the machine. Cranking the machine, then selecting the cylinder. It all starts with the drop of a nickel in the coin slot of the multi-phone coin operated phonograph.
of the hurry of the town. Why don't you come with me for just a day? There's happiness not very far away. Oh, hop in my car. Come along and see how happy we are. Then you'll find that heaven's not very far, a little while from now. Open your eyes in the morning when the sun not to rise And discover that there's blue in the skies a little while from now You'll find a stream where white lilies float Where you can dream in a rickety boat Oh, come for a day Lock your desk and put your worries away And it's ten to one that you want to stay A little mile from town In a meadow sweet with new mown hay You'll be a barefoot boy for just a day You'll say goodbye to all your cares and fears And miles can take you back a dozen years Oh, hop in my car Come along and see how happy we are And you'll find that heaven's not very far A little mile from town Our house is small but it's pretty when the peace blossom falls. We get music from the songbirds that call a little while from The fields, the hills are falling to you. They're filled with thrills that if you only knew, there's something they hold that I know is lots more precious than gold. Thank you for watching this episode of How Does That Coin-Operated Phonograph Work?